guys, for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I decided to rent from Newly this month. This is officially my very first unboxing of 2021. So exciting. Let me share with you what Newly is and you have no idea what I'm talking about. So it's just like a rental program. You can choose six pieces of clothing or more depending on if you want to add in a fee. Typically it's like $88 a month to rent designer high-end fashion brands and they have so many amazing brands. Like my favorite is Love Jack Fancy. I always rent all this stuff from that one. Um, for Love and Lemons, Anthropology, Free People. I do have a $20 off referral link in my description box if you are interested in trying it out. And Newly also does a really great job of rewarding their customers because they actually let me add in two extra pieces of clothing just for being a Newly customer. If you end up falling in love with the item that you rent from Newly, you can purchase it at a very discounted price. I've gotten a couple things from them. Others I've rented and then I've searched in secondhand stores like ThreadUp and Poshmark and I found them for really good deals. It's just a really great way to find out what clothing items you're going to fall in love with and you know kind of invest in. I've had one or two items that I've actually gotten in touch with their customer service and told them that I got a stain on one of my clothes or one of my dresses came in ripped. They refunded me for that dress and they gave me a bonus item that I will use next month. But so far like from my experience their customer service has been really good and by the way <laughs> if you're curious this video is not sponsored. I don't think Newly even knows I exist. I really did not think that renting clothes was for me, but I've been loving it. And it really does help me out with my closet. Like sometimes there's just a specific look that I want to wear and I can usually find it on Newly. So if you are interested in seeing what I decided to rent from Newly this month, stick around. But if you are new here to this channel, I share romantic fashion styling videos every Monday and Friday. So if you are interested in seeing more from me and you want to join this amazing, fun community, don't forget to subscribe. And then if you want to be reminded when I share with you, don't forget to click that little notification bell on the side. I don't know if it's over here. I think it's over here. I always do the wrong side, but click that notification bell and it will just remind you when I share a video. This little envelope has your shipping label. So when you decide to return at the end of the month, you just stick this shipping label right in here underneath the little plastic thing that I took off over there. I did have Valentine's in mind when I put together this newly. This first top is from Three People and it's a really pretty soft denim ruffled blouse. I'm still kind of into that denim on denim look and I thought that this would look really pretty with like the high-waisted flares that I have from Free People. This top feels really nice, very heavy. I'm looking for any signs of spots on it. I don't see any. No rips. We're good. It's a little bit more of an oversized fit. I did get a size medium. It looks like it'll be a perfect fit. That's the first item I decided to rent from Newly. I'm gonna love this. Anthropology. I rented this dress in a size 10. It's like a shift dress. It does have a lining underneath it and it kind of is like that ombre style. Like I just love the hot pink at the end. This one does look like it's been worn quite a bit but it still looks really nice. I thought this would be kind of a different dress to rent. I was looking at a couple different ones that I felt like weren't really for the winter season. This one is kind of stretching it a little bit, but if you know me, I will make it work. fancy it's very light but it's really soft I went for a size large in this top because usually love shack fancy runs down a size or runs a little small this one I actually should have gone for a medium because this one is a bit 
oversized. But I mean, I'm okay with oversized. I love wearing tops like this because I can layer it up with my sweaters and cardigans and still get those florals in there. It has a really pretty tie that I can, of course, put into a little bow at the neck. This one also does look like it's been worn pretty well too. I'm just wearing this around the house and I still like it, so it doesn't bother me. I am renting it after all. Next dress is from the brand Just Female, I believe. It's a size medium. I feel like I'm going for a lot of oversized stuff just because it's so comfortable, but it's that velvet material. It feels really nice. It's just kind of like a babe doll shift dress, that kind of style. I really like this golden brown velvet color. This will just be nice to wear around the house and kind of change things up a little bit because I am determined to stay dressed up. I cannot get too comfortable in those leggings. Next dress I have in mind for outfit inspiration for Valentine's Day. It's very simple, hardly any skin showing, but it's very form-fitting. So you can really accentuate curves and all that. It's a beautiful dress. There's a few layers to this. It's got a really nice lining underneath it. I rented this dress in a size 10 and it looks like it'll be perfect. I am not about to give up the holiday dresses right now. I am determined to enter 2021. Dressed up and ready to go. So this is another dress I had in mind for like outfit inspiration for Valentine's Day coming up. This is a dress from For Love and Lemons and I did get a size large. It's got some elastic. Oh, oh, there's a bow. Oh no, that's a shoulder pad. That was a shoulder pad. Apparently you can detach it. I keep my shoulder pads in because I love a good puff sleeve. Anyway, oh, I just did it to the side. All right then. The fabric has a good amount of stretch in it. It's got a zipper down the back of the dress. It's like a satin material, it's very light. I loved this dress for the neckline and it is a midi dress style. The Love and Lemons dresses tend to be really short for me. They're mini dresses along with Love Share Fancy, but their midi dresses are perfect. It's supposed to be a really pretty form fitted style. I'm really excited about this one. This is definitely a date night dress for me. I like the look of it. from Blank London. It's a size large. It's like this faux fur coat jacket. It's got like the embroidery on the sleeves. I loved this faux fur. I'm really into faux fur right now just because it keeps me so warm when it gets cold and rainy outside. But it's got like a really cute little clasp, almost like a cape in the front. This one is a bit different for me, but I really like it. It's very boho. Okay, so the last thing in my box is 100% ideas for Valentine's Day. We still have a little bit of time before Valentine's Day comes around, but I just, I don't know, maybe I'm just excited for the next holiday. I just want to have an excuse to dress up. 
I loved this coat from, I think, yeah, Daisy Street. It's a pink coat with hearts on it, and this is perfect to wear right now. They were out of the size medium in this coat, so I just went for the large, and I think it'll be fine. It's so soft and cozy and big, and love it. to rent from newbie this month and you will definitely see lots of outfit inspiration from all these i'm really glad that i added that coat in last minute because i wasn't going to at first but since we got those two extra items i figured why not i hope you enjoyed this and that you are having a wonderful start to your new year and i will see you very soon in the next video bye